Hi there, Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Christy, from In The Stars by Christy.com. Now, please do know that this is still just a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Leos out there. So just keep that in mind. So... September is going to be a big month because you know it's going to trigger a lot of our desires you know, you know not just for Leo but for each and every person out there because of the Mars retrograde that is happening so let us see what's going on for you guys for the month of September now the first card that you have here with me is the Knight of Pentacles and this is more of a uh, slow and steady kind of energy but at the same time it is a point wherein there is something that you want to you have a goal in mind basically there is something that you want to push forward and something that you wanted to manifest you could be in a situation wherein you are wanting to, s to have some form of communication with someone some form of cooperation, some form of partnership and understanding between you and a specific individual. It could be with a group of people as well. It could be with your business endeavor um, because when we talk about relationships, it's most of the time it's about love, but a lot of times it, it can manifest in terms of you know group set up acquaintances our connection to you know the networks that we have and the business endeavors that we are having as well we being crossed over by the three of pentacles will tell me that you know there is actually some something that you want to maybe you something that you wanted to build there's something that you wanted to initiate and do at this time because of the presence of the Emperor card and the Hierophant at the bottom and top of the reading, this is telling me that, you know, there is something that is concerning responsibility and, and structures in a relationship or an important part of your life. This can basically talk about the commitment in a relationship. Could commitment of a partnership um, some form of legality might be in the picture so I'm not sure if you guys are talking or thinking about marriage you know some form of contracts that is you know um, very serious you know this is not this is not a situation of of playing around and fooling around this is a situation wherein there is something that you wanted to settle in a big way and it could be a very serious situation and it could be you know something that um has a lot as has some form of legality wherein a promise is being made so that is the focusing energy that we are getting here in the recent past we do have the existence of the six of wands which is all about you know your own plans maybe what you have been wishing for before what you have been thinking in the past this is something that you want to implement as you move forward with the month in the near future we do have the, the seven of swords now the seven of swords can be quite of a tricky card because it can be a situation wherein maybe someone is not thinking clearly or maybe you're jumping the gun you know assuming something but you're still not sure and with the energy of all of the cards that i have here with me there is a sense wherein maybe some of you guys are having some form of discontent in their life there's something that is making you feel uncertain there is something disruptive that is happening inside of you and you want to change that you want to change the situation and make things better i would say there is some form of frustrations here when it comes to the give and take of a partnership or relationship so some form of conflict might be there some form of arguing can happen i would say but um, by expressing your own feelings and by listening to the other person as well, 
this can actually you know create a new beginning and a new dynamic of energy can present itself into the situation i do feel that if you are frustrated or if there is something that is not making you happy during this time um any agreement or disagreement is going to be you know um i would say any anger issues is going to be um expressed during this month so i would say that be careful because i feel that your feelings will come out very easy like if you're mad if you're angry you will be able to express this in a very big way and that might lead to some form of arguments with your partner or whoever it is that you're dealing with uh, during this time so you need to be careful if you you know if you don't want any form of arguments uh, be careful of the words that you're saying however i kind of feel that um, what whatever it is that you you want to express right now it cannot be helped because there are a lot of confusion in the air into this and this is something that you need to clear out i just feel though that whatever it is that is confusing you whatever clarity that it is that you want you might not get it during this month so this is not the time to to force yourself in getting your own desires this is not the time to push the other person in doing what you actually want because um i just kind of feel that you know even if you you get angry even if you get mad or anything like that you cannot get what is not possible at this time and um that might lead to some form of disappointments we do have the ten of swords over here representing your own energy so there could be some form of frustration and disappointments and the other person's energy we have here the four of pentacles so it could be a situation wherein they may not be very much willing to um to do whatever it is that you want as well or they could there is an energy here wherein um you are being stubborn and the other person is also being stubborn all at the same time communication is definitely going to be like a big picture here and it might um ha uh i would say the happenings in the relationship might go overboard with the words that you guys might speak you know because i kind of feel that there could be angry words being spread out here um and in the overall card of the reading we have here the wheel of fortune now the wheel of fortune is all always a card of patience it's like telling us that um you might need more patience into this relationship or it could be a sign wherein things it is not yet the time to take the necessary action but whatever might manifest during this time is actually something that's meant to occur so if there are changes in the relationship it could be that this is what is very much needed to happen into your relationship remember the wheel of fortune has a very karmic and karmic feel to it wherein um if a situation has been stuck for way too long it is more of a sign and a signal that it's time to move forward so um there is that energy as well i do feel that there is going to be ha there's going to be some form of progress movement when it comes to relationship but i kind of feel that there is some form of disruption and changes in the relationship as well so um I would say that th there is a huge chance for arguments, for disagreements between you and your partner, uh, but I feel that it has a lot to do with some form of miscommunication and misunderstanding. So the best way to deal with this is to be able to talk in a very efficient manner and to, to express yourself on what you truly feel, not through anger, of course, but at the same time learn to listen as well with your partner why they are acting the way that they they do 
those kinds of things. So um, yeah, there is definitely going to be um, confusion in the air for you and this might uh, be a very frustrating time um, as you might feel that everything is blocked and you are at the point of your life or in you want to to do everything that you always dream of so there is a hint of selfishness here with the with the things that you want and that is mainly just because that um you're at the point of your life we're in <laughs> You want to feel good and you deserve to feel good. It's just that I feel that the situation that you have right now, the, the other person or maybe the universe is not yet going to give you what you want and patience is going to be very much needed. It could also mean that the things that you want to happen during this month might be delayed. So there is a good good energy coming in the air but maybe it will occur maybe next month or at a later time so this is the time for you to pause and stop Leo and to control your own emotions to control your mood swings all at the same time because I kind of feel that you know there is some form of rage in you that you cannot control on uh, yeah I'm really thinking of what other ways that this can manifest in a very positive manner but the only thing I can think of right now is that your emotions is going to be controlling not really controlling but it's going to be a big part your emotions is going to be a big part with how you act the way you say things and whatever endeavor you initiate is going to be triggered by your own emotions so if there are any negativity that is happening check in with your own feelings and emotions i'm not saying to keep everything in because that is not healthy you need an outlet you need to say things the way that it is it's just that i kind of feel that you need to pay attention by listening to the other person as well don't just you know dwell on your own stuff don't just dwell on what you want at this time uh, right now so um yeah um yeah so basically the key here is to really be a team player and to cooperate don't just demand things with your partner so it's time for a pause and reflect reflect reflection this could be a time that you can plan things in the future but don't do them right now because i don't think that it's going to be possible anyway so um yeah that's my reading for you guys leo and i do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to just like a short overview on what can happen and occur for the month of september as you go along if you do want a more personal reading to check in with your own situation personally for you, you can do that by booking a session through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com and I'll see you guys again next month.